Hey there everybody. So I'm just now sitting down to edit this video and it is honestly a little behind the times. Um, just to let you know, this was actually filmed before Christmas. It was uh, filmed during the week leading up to Christmas and so I realized Christmas was a little bit ago but between the Christmas chaos and recovery from Christmas chaos and all that, I hadn't had a chance to get to editing until today so it is what it is. So I just wanted to clue you guys in that the video is, or the footage is a little bit older, but it is still important to get that out there to you guys, so I'm doing that now. So here goes. Hey everybody, welcome back to City Sewers. It is a brisk and overcast day here in Central California. Yes, it is. And we are actually getting ready to process rabbits. Yeah, yep, yep, we yep, definitely yep. are. It's one of those things that's kind of like, well, we got into this knowing it has to be done um, if they don't sell us pets and they are all now at what I guess slaughter weight is a little over five pounds for these yep. guys. Yep. Um, and so we're going to do that. There's only six left of the 17. Yep. So, six out of 17. Uh, we've actually really enjoyed the different recipes that we've made. Uh, I think personally my favorite has been uh, the rabbit and, dumplings. rabbit and dumplings for sure. But Amanda has cooked up several different um, um, recipes and they've all been fantastic so, <laughs> anyway uh not to make light of the fact that we have to go through this process uh which we're probably not going to share the gruesome details no. but uh we have six of them and that is going to take probably half an hour 45 minutes to process uh one of the things for those of you who are considering uh rabbit meat as a part of your you know homesteading uh it's a lot faster than <laughs> than uh chickens uh chickens maybe are a little more normal if well, you could be normal chickens while homesteading. grow faster they grow faster <laughs> but um the slaughter process uh, that's like an all day thing when we're slaughtering chickens um yeah that's but, a big event. and it's stinky it seems just like rabbits are a little <laughs> bit less stinky and less uh work overall but yep so we're gonna get started on doing these rabbits and Probably at the end of this, I'll show you guys the uh, end product of what we have. Yeah, and some pelts. Uh, that will be something we will show you at some point, uh, how we are yeah. going to process those pelts and cure them and tan them and get them ready for use in crafts and, you know, soft stuff, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> now, due to uh, the time of year being that Christmas is in a week, I'm not gonna have time to address these pelts right away. So what I'm gonna do is we're just gonna roll them up and we're gonna throw them in the freezer and I will get to them after Christmas. So that's just gonna be the best, I think, because I haven't done it before, so it's probably gonna take me a little longer to do them than it will when I've got it figured out. Um, so just learning process, I would rather take my time than try to rush through it before Christmas. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, you ready to go? I'm ready to go. Okay. All right, let's do this. Got some bunny friends there. Yeah. Someone's out of his nest. He's like, mom eats this. Hmm. Careful. <laughs> I'm trying not to get bitten to put it back in the nest. Oh, Have you ever been bitten? No. Okay. I've been nibbled. <laughs> well, because mom is right there. But yeah, um, no, shoot. They can get back in the nest on their own. They're okay. Oh. Pile of bunnies. That's a pile of bunnies. All right. So here are our six rabbits. And I have had these sitting in an ice water bath for a few hours actually, because we had some dinner plans that we had to go get to. And uh, I figured it would be ideal to go ahead and let some of the blood that's in them like leach out and it makes the butchering process a little cleaner. And so they're all ready to cut up and I'm gonna get started on that. And then I can show you guys what we're left with at the end of the whole process and see kind of what we're left with. All right, I have finally finished piecing out these rabbits. It's pretty late at night. Um, I got a late start because um, we had a dinner thing, like I said, and so I just finished. It's pretty late, but they're all laid out on trays. And I'm gonna put them in the freezer, so I wanted to show you guys what they look like before they go into the freezer. And then after they freeze uh, on the trays, then I can put them into the bags so they're uh, separated and easy to um, pull out for meals and things like that. So so here's all my rabbits all pieced out. 
Okay, so over here we have the basically the, the loin or the back strap. Um, it's basically the middle section of the rabbit. I've got those are two of the back legs. I've got back legs over here, front legs over there, those are the bellies. And then this is all like the rib cages and pelvises and just bony parts. I'm going to put those into the instant pot for making some broth. And then over here, I have all the ears saved. Um, I'm missing one ear though. I don't know where it went. <laughs> but uh, we dry those for uh, puppy treats. And they're really awesome. He loves them. So... So, excluding the ears and the bones, um, everything else is going to go in the freezer tonight. And when they're frozen, they'll be pulled off the trays and put into baggies to keep them separated and easy to pull out whenever I need to access them. Hey everybody, it is not in the middle of the night now. All of our rabbit meat is in the freezer. Well, Minus one rabbit because I cooked one for dinner last night, but it was delicious. Uh, but there's other things that have been happening that are less exciting. So it is my belief that Jane has actually had a miscarriage. Um, she showed up a couple weeks ago. She had just a little bit of like goo on her tail that looked a little dark. It was a little suspicious, but she didn't have any active discharge. So it was like, okay, well, just keep an eye on her. And then um, a few days ago, she had some darker staining on her rear end area. So it looks to me like it was probably blood. Um, I haven't seen like active discharge or active bleeding, but she had enough staining for me to believe that she has probably had a miscarriage. So we're really disappointed, especially because at the point that we are in the year, after having a miscarriage, she would need at least four weeks to recover before she would be rebred. That would be putting us at breeding her at like the end of January. And five months of pregnancy means that she'd be having babies in like 100 degree weather. And that's just not, that's not a good thing. So we're not going to breed her, I don't think, for 2022 babies, which is really disappointing because she is my better milker of the two goats, but Things happen who knows what the cause was because she has had Two two litters by the same buck previously that were totally healthy and just Something didn't work out with this litter so it's disappointing but you know she's doing okay she's healthy i'm monitoring her making sure she doesn't have any complications or infection or anything like that uh, betsy still looks great um we're operating under the assumption that she is pregnant so we're looking forward to some 2022 babies from betsy and we'll just have to have one goat in milk this year which it's not ideal but you work with what you got Another unfortunate update is that we have lost one of our chickens. We're not really sure what happened or the, like, why, but it sometimes just happens that animals will get sick or fail or it could be that she was egg bound or something, but it, whatever it was, it took it down. It took her down and it took her down fast. So it's a bummer, we're down to 10 hens. So it's two hits that we just took here in one week between Jane losing her babies and we're losing one of our laying hens, but just gotta keep on trucking. So for something a little more cheerful, let's go take a look at the baby bunnies. Hey babies. Now, I took out their nest boxes today and put in the houses, but the babies are like, no, we're not gonna go in there. We're gonna stay outside. <laughs> this scrappy, scruffy looking little baby here is the runt from Guinevere's litter that we brought back that was doing really poorly. And now he's doing all right. He's still way little compared to everybody, but he's looking way better. And his hair will fill in eventually. He's just looking a little extra scruffy. Guinevere's lot. And 
Nimway's babies are doing awesome. Nice spotty pile of babies there. I don't know why they won't just use the house. I filled it all up with nice fresh hay and I put them all in there to be like, hey, look, it's a nice, soft, warm place. And they're like, no, we want to all huddle out here. So. But baby bunnies are doing great. So I got portraits of the bunnies today. Uh, they're all numbered. I have guesses on most of their genders. There were three that were too small for me to really tell, to even make a guess. So I've got 15 of them with gender guesses. I, I don't guarantee their genders until they're a little bit older, but uh, they're doing good and we're gonna get their uh, pictures posted up on the website and we can start getting some uh, reservations done for them uh, for when they're ready to go at the end of January. So the week has had some ups and downs between uh, putting meat in the freezer and also taking a few hits on some losses. It is what it is. It ebbs and flows just like anything else in life. And then we also have Christmas coming up this week. So we're trying to get everybody all settled in and ready for us to be kind, a little absentee for a couple of days because we spend all of Christmas with uh, our family um, split between my family and David's family. So we're plenty busy. So we got to make sure the animals are well taken care of and ready for us to be. I mean, we don't go out of town, but we spend a lot of time not at home. So we have to make sure that they're ready to go. Thank you so much for joining us on this video. As always, this is your urban nerd with a goat herd so that you can grow where you're planted and have a very Merry Christmas.